Well, hello folks. Sam Owens here, and uh, I've got a great product uh, for the home. Didn't realize that uh, these little manual sweepers, it uh, has no batteries, uh, no electricity to plug in. But if you've ever been out to a restaurant, you may see them using a product similar to this. If not, maybe this. Uh, it's a little sweeper that actually has a brush and a, a way of uh, flipping all of the little debris in the carpet on uh, hard floors, vinyl, uh, tile, flipping it up into the bottom of this thing, which I'm going to go over in detail uh, some of the things about it. But uh, that's basically it. Up to the right, you're going to get a lot of information about the product specs and uh, things that are going to be important that I cannot cover uh, in the video trying to show you how everything goes together. Okay, <clears throat> first, look at the manual always and uh, you'll find out a lot of things. Uh, right here, they always give you safety precautions and something like this uh, creates static electricity, that brush swinging around. And they even have uh, warnings here if you've got a pacemaker or something like that. Uh, the static electricity, uh, they want to, you to be aware of that, okay? Uh, and here are the specs on it, the weight, to the dimensions. <clears throat> and uh, they cover everything in the booklet. And a brief assembly uh, instructions in a pictorial view very easy folks uh, we're going to show the assembly of this and there's a, a couple of critical steps in here uh, in the assembly that you want to get right or you're going to get confused and right off the bat let's start with a a is easy to identify it's a handle now if you'll notice in b they're showing a, a cutout over here amplifying the identification of it. Now let me show you the difference of A and or uh, B and C. This is B and notice it's got a, a ridge right here and a threaded in. Now this is C. These two C's Okay, so this is B right here, and that's going to go into the handle. All right, so let's go this way, lay them out where D is going to be at the bottom right there, and that's A, B, two C's, and D. Now let's start assembling. I'm going to take D right here and it goes in this way with the threads up. Screw this in and give it a nice firm, not over tightening. Okay, now we want one of the C's to go in and it will go like this. The threaded end is gonna go in there. And we're gonna take another C, which is like that, just like that. Two C's go together. Now, when you get yours, you're going to say, oh, I'm glad I watched Sam do that. Okay, now here is B. And if you try to get B in here, it will not work and uh, it uh, could add to confusion. But they tried uh, to bring that out in the picture. Okay, and then finally, this is something that just pushes on give it a good firm push it doesn't screw in and to get it off you, you pull it out this is the only uh, compression ring in there okay and it can twist so as you're moving it around you can twist it around okay it's supposed to this is a tool right here uh, we're going to show that later. It's the cleaning comb, and it has a place to store it, and that is right down here. You just put it right on there, and 
clamp it in. So right there is the uh, cleaning comb. And now let's turn it over. And here is the brush, the wheels, and you have two scrubbies on either end and a drive wheel in the center. Now, right here is the emptying lever. When you're ready, uh, after cleaning, you need to dump everything. You just take it to an area of a pail or something, lift this up. Now I'm going to show you, and then shake it, and I'm going to show you what happens when you lift that. It opens these two panels up and dumps everything out. When you push the um, uh, sweeper forward, it deposits in one reservoir. When you pull it back, it puts it in the other. So you're cleaning both ways. Uh, you have two wheels here which reverse the direction of the brush. And the brush is catching it up in here and trapping it. Uh, so this is how it's empty. Now, one of the things uh, that uh, as far as cleaning, you would have this open and you can just pull this like this and then you can kind of pull this along and you can get a lot of stuff out by, you have to kind of press down a little bit against this center wheel to get it out and you can get a lot of stuff out because the cleaner it is, the better it's going to clean the next time around. So give her a good cleaning and this will help. And we're gonna do a demonstration here in a little bit and uh, I think you'll see the how well this uh, works. Okay, and what you wanna do is make sure, let's see, there, let me pull it. Okay, yeah, let her snap back. There you go, it's good. All right, now, this is the way we do this. Now we're gonna do a cleaning exercise. Folks, this is our dining room table, and this is where we do all our eating, and we eat a lot of crackers and soup. <clears throat> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna just smash one up <clears throat> and just generate some, uh, some stuff on the floor just to see how well it does it. Boy, I hope it does it. <laughs> That's gonna be a mess. All right, let's try her out. All right, here you go. You ready? I'm telling you. I'm gonna step in front of you, and uh, so I get to go over here and get these big pieces, and you can lift it up. It doesn't matter, whatever, and work it out. Now I really messed it up, so I don't know if we would get that much stuff and those big of a pieces, but. The uh, chairs are on the table because of the robot, our cleaning robot. You got to do that. To... Folks, I think it does a great job. I want to thank you very much for watching my video.